What's going on everybody, David here. Today I am gonna tell you guys, if you are looking to buy a photographer something, I'm gonna show you some of the really good items that you can buy them for under $10. So stocking stuffers, friends from work, friends at work, all that good stuff. If you know they like photography, they're most likely gonna like these little devices. So the first thing that I have here, it is a little adjustable tripod head. And this is great for Smaller cameras, uh, you don't want to put a DSLR big camera on here. You want to use something small. But uh, if you, you have a situation, and let's see, let's grab a big camera here. So let's say I have my big camera here, and I wanted to attach a little action cam to it, to the top here. Well, at the very, very top, if you see here, there is a hot shoe mount. So you have the hot shoe mount here, and then you also have a little... Um, three-quarter thread there so if you want to put that on to a tripod you can do that as well so let's go ahead and slide this in just slide it in just like that tighten it up and now if I wanted to put a tripod or a camera on top of this camera I can go ahead and do that I can also use it for uh, other situations where I might want to hook it to another little device on the side or on the back or on the bottom it's just so many things that you can do with this and the really really great part about it is you can adjust this so you can move this around and fit it to any any uh, direction that you want to fit it to I use this a lot if I'm going out and I want to have like an action cam on me and I can put it up on my shoulder I have a little peak design tripod uh, or peak design uh, mount I can hook it right into that hook a little action cam on there and I'm ready to go so Great device, under $10. I'm telling you, if you're a photographer, if uh, you know a photographer, you have a photographer friend, they're gonna want this. All right, so that's the first thing that we have there. Now let's go ahead and look at second thing here. And this is pretty simple. It All it is, it they're, they're just containers. And they're battery containers. So if you do any traveling at all, you're gonna need, you're gonna want to put your batteries in a container Sometimes if you go through TSA, uh, the, the uh, checkpoints, they, they might have an issue with you just having your batteries loose. Uh, they do like to have your batteries uh, in some type of container. If it's the original packaging, that's good. But they just don't want batteries bouncing around and they, they might cause a spark or something like that. So, uh, these are great. Under $10, you buy them in a pack. And I will show you guys a link in the description so you guys can uh, find these on Amazon. This is where I got these. And these are specifically for uh, AA batteries. So you can put your four batteries in there, close them up like that. This is for uh, your batteries. Let's say you're using, uh, this is a Canon battery or using a Nikon battery. This works really well. And there's, no, there's another little trick that I use with this. This one cracked a little bit, but it, it's okay. It still works. Um, if I have it like this, so if it's face, I guess that's face up, where I can read Canon on there, then I know this battery is full. So once I charge the battery, this is the way that I'll have them. So if I'm at an event, wedding, and that stuff, I know what batteries are good and what batteries aren't. So if it's like this, the battery's good. If I open it up, when I put it back, once the battery's dead, flip it upside down, there you go. So now all I have to do is pop it open, look. Oh, no, this is no good. Put it aside, grab one that's good. So it just saves you on time. You don't want to have to put take your battery out, put it in the camera, see if it's good, and all that good stuff. So uh, great device or great little containers here. These are under ten dollars. So great for any photographer. Next thing we're gonna look at here is a lens pin. Now this is this I this is new to me. Okay, I've had this for about a year, and these are really really good. So you know you have the traditional little white cloths that uh, that you can wipe your lenses with, but this is a little different. It has like a, uh, let me show you, I have to show you with the, with the lens here. So we have our lens here, pop the lens open, I had to pick the lens that's the deepest. Okay, so the way it works is you have two sides. You have this side, and then you have this side. So let's do this side first. What you do is you go in, hold your lens down and I'll just hold it up so you can see it there and you're just getting it getting anything that's loose on the lens you're getting it off and then you this one you have to hold upside down so you can kind of get that to fall out and once you've done that then you can and it has a little lever here just pull that back like that 
Then this side, you want to twist it a little bit so it gets a little bit of the, it's like a, I don't know if it's carbon or what it is, but you can see the little tip there. Let me see if we can focus on the tip so you can kind of see what it looks like. And we're not going to get it to cooperate. That's probably the best that you're going to see of it. So it's a little tip there and it's, it's like a, it's almost rubberized. But what you do is you just put it in and you just do that circular motion. Make sure you get it all over. So if, you, if you're using your fingers, let's say your finger touches the lens, you're going to have some, some uh, smudge prints on it. And so this will get rid of all the smudge prints and it will definitely clean your, your uh, lens. So these are under $10 and this, this is great. Now I would tell you, um, this is probably out of the, all the items that we have under $10, this is probably the best, most convenient, most used item. Uh, that, that I use as far as is for photography. I mean, I use this all the time. I always have to have one of these on me. Uh, I have several of them now, and I will not leave without one without this uh, lens bin. So just just so you know that. All right, so under ten dollars, another great item. And moving right along. Okay, so we have this here, and this is uh, Yodo's. This is a, a rocket. What do they call this thing? I don't know what they, it's, it's just a rocket air thing. So basically it blows air and you would wonder why do you need something that blows air? Well, this will clean the sensor, just blow air. So it'll blow air off the sensor. Let me just show you really quick how it works. So you have your camera here and let's say you take it off. You want to clean the sensor inside, take it off here, hold that up and you're just going to blow air there. And ideally what you want to do, and I didn't set it up that way, but you want to have the mirror uh, flip back. So you'll have the mirror flip up and the sensor will be exposed and you just blow that air and then you'll clean off the, the lens or the, uh, the sensor. Now, you can also use it for other things, your lenses. You can use it to clean the, the front uh, element on the lens if you have dust particles and, and things like that on it. Uh, but this is really, really good. Uh, another really good item. I mean, I, I, I'm telling you these two are these are must-haves. So just, just so you know, if it's a photographer, he's gonna want or she's gonna want or they're gonna already have these, but uh, these are definitely things that you want. And I only have one of these, and to be honest with you, I'd wanna have, I wanna have another one just so I can have one to put in my bag so it'll always go with me. Uh, so that's that. And then the last thing here is an SD card. So this SD card, it's a SanDisk card. It's not the fastest card in the world, but it is under $10, it's 32 gigs. It's a perfect setup for you if, you, if you're a photographer. You, you can't have enough SD cards. So um, this is, these are the specs on it. It is a class 10 card, so it, it's fast, but if you're gonna do some real high speed stuff, obviously you're gonna need more than this, but as a gift to someone, they can definitely use it, especially if they're a photographer. All right, that is all I have for you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I will talk to you in the next one. Happy holidays.